Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 22nd of September. Your ruler Saturn continues to forge a really sweet link with Venus and this influence suggests that there may be one friend who is open to new ways of doing things but there's something about them that's non-threatening that you really feel that you can collaborate well together. You may be planning a holiday, you may work together on some kind of hobby and there's a really nice vibe that goes between you especially on Monday and Tuesday. Now speaking of Monday, Pluto in your sign for the last seven years goes direct after a five and a half month backward journey. When this particular planet retraces its steps it's asking us to think very much about power and how we use our power. Now power can be a very positive thing in terms we can use energies to help other people, we can use energies to stay fit, create a productive lifestyle, or it can be more negative about trying to control other people. Now just how it's panned out for you as an individual is down to you as an individual. But it's probably given you an opportunity to become much more conscious of who you are as an individual. But if you have found yourself going through some doubts or not quite knowing what your role is over this last five and a half month period, this is your opportunity now to start to go forwards, to think much more positively and look more outwardly into your situation. On Tuesday, the sun climbs right to the top of your horoscope, your solar midheaven or 10th house. Over the next four weeks, this is going to give you a platform to demonstrate your natural talent for taking responsibility, for picking up the threads of situations that other people aren't always able to deal with. You can be very tenacious, but also very persistent, and that's one of the greatest talents to have if you really want to make your way right the way to the top and some kind of success can come to you over the next four weeks. But we all have different things that we're interested in. Yours may be about running faster if you're a jogger. To someone else it may be about spending more time with their grandchildren. To another Capricorn it may indeed be about becoming a captain of industry. So whatever your goals are, Libra's passage through this, the sun's passage through Libra will certainly help you. There's also a new moon on Wednesday in this location too. This just reminds you that whatever you're doing and however much status or acknowledgement or extra authority you're wanting to have in situations, this just reminds you that it's important that this feels comfortable at heart level. It's all very well having a big paycheck if you're not actually enjoying the role. So keeping a sense of balance is going to be important. Now all through this week till Friday, Mars, continuing on from last week, is clashing with Neptune, unfortunately. And this is a tricky influence, particularly for you, because someone linked to your past may be having quite a negative influence on your thinking at this time, and you mustn't let this happen. This is because it's so easy to let gossip or people's hints or pejorative comments kind of get under your skin. Instead of this, you need to stay strong and understand what Mars is doing in its passage through your 12th solar house, which is asking you to tune into any unresolved business. If you do this, you can overcome this particular aspect. If you don't, you may experience a sense of heaviness, a feeling bogged down, that you can't make the progress you want, but it is something you can overcome with determination. And what's going to help you furthermore is that on Sunday, Mercury moves into a terrific area for you. One which suggests that the friends you haven't heard from recently, perhaps because you've both just been so busy, can be in touch, you can have a wonderful catch up and they can provide some really solid reassurance for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.